What's up everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs once again. Today we have something a little bit special. We have an Internal Masters VIP battle where we have six participants from my Facebook group. I'm sorry, four participants from my Facebook group. We're going to split this box four ways, six packs apiece. We're going to count up the converted mana cost of the Mythics and Rares. And whoever has the highest converted mana cost at the end will receive a VIP Double Masters pack. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That gets you in on giveaways. We're pretty close to 8,000 subscribers. We'll give away another booster box when that happens. Check out the affiliate links in the description for Magnolia Gaming. Also, there's a few for Amazon if you shop there. So the way this works is we've got four people. They sponsored the packs. We're going to battle them out. Somebody's going to home a winner. Really, with Eternal Masters, everybody goes home a winner. This set is so good. Even the uncommon slot carries a ton of value. It is absolutely unreal. You also have the chance at Mana Crypt, Vampiric Tutor, Jace, Force of Will, uh, Wasteland. There's just so much good stuff in this set. Hopefully, we get one of the really, really juicy boxes. That'll make for a nice video. So, today we have Robert J in the pole position, number one here. Right behind is Tom M. Then we have William B. And last but not least, in the caboose, we have David W. Let me get something to ride on so we can tally the totals as we go because I am terrible at math. And um, you'll learn that very quickly if you've been here any amount of time. I'm really bad at math and I'm really bad at making piles. And even though I'm keeping track of everything, I'll still probably mess it up to an extent. So just, you know, just kind of roll with it. We'll get there eventually. All right, so let's get started. Robert, you are up first. Good luck to you. That is a death right Shaman. And the cards are in the pack backwards. I don't know if anybody's noticed that before, but here we go. Dragon's Egg. Just wait till we start hitting the uncommon slot. It's got Ashnod's Altar, which is like a $10 or $12 uncommon. Lots of other good stuff. All right, Invigorate is our first one. Thunderclap Wervin, Scarblade, and first pack, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Okay, didn't see that coming. I don't know how valuable that is, but that is a very good card for the battle purposes because we're after converted mana cost here. So that is a solid eight. Holy cow, Robert. Coming out of the gate swinging. That's what we like to see. Squad Hawk, Dragon's Egg again. That one is uh, it's pretty miscut. Look how look how thick that top border is. I don't know if that could be considered a misprint. I don't know if it's bad enough. Deep Anal. Keldon Champion. Ancestral Mask. Very good uncommon. Like I said, just keep an eye on this uncommon slot. Of course, we got the Hondens into Mother of Runes. Beautiful card. Therese Nielsen art. There's actually quite a bit of Therese Nielsen art in the set, if I remember correctly. So... Starting off strong. Second pack is a one. We're happy with Mother Runes, though. Always happy to see her. I feel like she would fit in in uh, Kaldheim, since Kaldheim's about runes and whatnot. Surprised they didn't include her. Tragic Slip. Seismic Stomp. Annihilate. Calciderm. Love Calciderm. Soul Catcher. And it's, there it is. There's the Wasteland. I mentioned that just a few minutes ago. Tooth and Claw, not Tooth and Nail. So Wasteland is a very nice hit for Robert. Doesn't add to the converted mana cost at all because it is a land. But we will take it. That is a spicy hit. That is one spicy potato. Una's Grace, beautiful artwork. Core Hook Master. Extract from Darkness. Sprite Noble. This was a rare at one point in time. Mesa Enchantress into Wrath of God. That is a classic. Love the artwork on this card. Always will. Uh, it'll always hold a special place in my heart. Any any old school Magic player. Um, I think Wrath of God is, is a special card to him. For me anyways. And we're getting Damnation back in Time Spiral Remastered, so that's something to uh, 
to look forward to. This rarity has been upshifted to mythic now, which I don't I don't know if I feel like it's mythic or not. Harmonize, good uncommon, flame jab, glass kite into toxic deluge. The hits keep coming and they don't stop coming. Don't make me bust into some smash mouth because I will do it. All right, let me add up Robert's total thus far. And we'll move on to Tom. All right, Tom. Tom asked me to please not hose him this time. Tom opens a ton of stuff with me in the Facebook group. And it, it rarely works out for him. He usually gets taken to pound town. So he said, please don't take him to pound town here. I told him, may the magic gods be by your side. So we'll see. Chain lightning. Awesome Uncommon, Relic, Awesome Uncommon, into Imperious Perfect for our first rare, Mana War, and a Surf token of all things. So starting off with an Elf. That was an Uncommon uh, out of Lauren that got upshifted years ago. Prowling Pangolin, Dragon's Egg. That guy, he looks like he's wanting to eat a strawberry. You guys seen like the internet videos of the, the tortoise eating a strawberry? It's hilarious. Counterspell. Another chain lightning. Honden. Phyrexian Jester into Call the Skybreaker. That's a that's a big beefy boy. So we'll take that. If we're not gonna get value, let's get the mana cost. That way we can chase that VIP pack as the prize. I think that's originally out of Lorwin or uh Shadowmore, one of those, uh, one of those blocks from a long time ago. Orcish or Flame, Eye Blight's ending, Juggernaut Brainstorm, Trigon Predator into oh, Mama Caracas. There we go. It's a mythic. Doesn't help the cause, but we will take a Caracas. So far, we've gotten what was the first mythic? The Sphinx into a Caracas. We need a we need a good mythic out of this box. Uh, there's also Sylvan Library in the rare slot. We'll take a Sylvan Library. On average, we should at least have one more mythic. Honden, Days, and Icarid. Iconic card out of I believe Torment, where that card is originally from. Still after that foil foil rare too. And we leave that last pack there for a little bit of suspense. We'll, we'll go through five packs for everybody. Leave that one pack to the end. That way we don't know who wins right away. Lawnmower Elf. War Priest. Torrent of Souls. And a Goblin Trenches. Wow, I don't, I don't even remember that. Whoa! That is a nice hit. That is a heckin' nice hit. Foil and Tomb. Seth McKinnon artwork. Wow! I just said we didn't get the foil rare, and the foil rare appears. So Tom gets a Goblin Trenches and an Entomb, so they're both rares. So we count both of those towards this total. That's a fantastic hit. And we're going to move on to William. Good luck to you, William. Let's see how you do. Shelter. Sting Scourger. Shoreline Ranger. Eye Blight's ending. Really creepy artwork on that. Faithless Looting. Not allowed to play with that card anymore. Wall of Omens. Prodigal Sorcerer. And a Gamble. There we go. Nice hit. Doesn't add much beef to the total, but we will take a Gamble. That's an Ultimate Masters as well, if I remember correctly. With a different artwork. Desperate Ravens, Seal of Strength, Jungle Hollow, Bloodfell Caves, Curd Ape, it's an iconic card, Brawn, really good uncommon, Honden, Worn Power, like that uncommon slot was just so good right there. Ah, there we go, I forgot about the top, how did I forget about top, we've opened a couple of these already in the group, that's like a $50 rare, holy potatoes. William is not getting much beef, but he just got the Sensei's top. Have to be happy about that. Really exciting stuff. 
Love this set. The Mythics haven't been very strong, but we did get a Wasteland. We have got the top. We got the Foil and Tomb. We're making up the value in other places. Price of Progress, Singer Artocrat into Heritage Druid. Okay, this card has actually spiked in value quite a bit. The, the price of that doubled recently, so that is actually a very, very nice hit. Everything William has hit so far is a one. Holy cow, how is that possible? You gotta hope for some more value for William there. He needs some more value or he needs a big hit. Emperor Crocodile, that guy used to be rare, right? Tidal Wave, Slinger. There we go, Ashnod's Altar. This is a card I was telling you, it's an uncommon. It's like 10 or 12 bucks, it's un unreal. Phyrexian Gargantua and eight and a half tails. I, this is originally out of Kamigawa, is that right? Interesting card. The uh, the German version of that card, they had to change the name on it because the in German, the word for tails is Schwanz, which is actually a slang word for something else. So the German version of the card actually got different text on it, if I remember correctly. That's a random, useless piece of knowledge fun fact that I think I saw somewhere. I could be wrong, completely wrong, but I feel like I know that for some reason. A messy tome. Oh my... <laughs> William, you got the Vampiric Tutor. That card was so good, so expensive until the reprint in Commander Legends. It's still, don't get me wrong, it's still a fantastic hit. That's what makes this set so awesome, is all the big hits that are in it. Congratulations on the Tutor, William. And David... Here we go. David's actually going to come by this afternoon and probably pick up his cards. He, he's local to me. Met him at my local game shop. He said, let me get in on some Eternal Masters. Put him into the randomizer, and this is our third battle. Like I said, we've already done two of these in the group. So he finally managed to get in on the third go-round. Merfolk Looter, Cabal Therapy, very nice and common. We Dragonauts, and a Malicious Affliction for a two- Pack number two for David. Malicious Affliction is not where we want to be, I don't think. I think we're going to need a little more gas than that. I wonder if we got the potential to go four Mythics deep. Can we get a four Mythic box or a double, double foil rare? That happened last night in the box we did last night. We got a foil Green Sun Zenith, which is a very nice hit, as well as a foil Karmic Guide. Right Noble, Maze of Ith. Okay, cool card. I think that got a reprint in, was it Double Masters recently? Originally out of the dark. It was one of the top cards out of the dark for the longest time. Drop the Vanguard. We'll pick it up in a minute. It's just a common. Curd Ape. Nature's Claim. Monk Idealist. Keldon Champion. Blood Braid, Ancestral Mask, into a big, beefy green boy. Silvos, Rogue Elemental, hulking out. I love all the Onslaught Titans. Silvos may be my favorite one. Silvos or Vasara? David's going to need some help. Silvos, Silvos helped a little bit. Not value-wise, but... Converted mana cost wise. Swords, beautiful Therese art. Armadillo Cloak, Mesa Enchantress. Into Larry Nevin's Disc. What's our foil? Innocent Blood. And a Dragon Token. So far, David has taken a one way trip to Pound Town. He still has two packs left. We'll see what happens. And he still has the potential to win the VIP pack. One more elves. Burning Vengeance. Beautiful Factor Fiction. Guys, Blessing. What, what are the chances that Rebecca and Therese would be next to each other in a pack? 
Just make a mural of that. Into Karmic Guide. Okay, that's a nice hit. Really like Karmic Guide. And tell me that artwork right there, that would not make it through the wizard filter today. And a Torrent of Souls. All right, let me do a little bit of math here. All right, our totals through round one will be Robert at 16, Tom at 18, William at 6, and David at 17. So ideally, everybody still has a chance at the VIP pack. This is Robert's last pack. Let's see how he does. He's only a couple behind Tom currently. You want to get as much gas as you can, especially with packs being behind you. Here we go. Another Ashnod's Altar. Value City. And a Void for five. Okay, this puts him... Oh! Double Foil Rare. Holy smokes. Death Rite Shaman. And the foiling on these cards are just gorgeous. Look at that. Actually, it knocks your eyeballs out. It's so good. So that's going to add six to Robert's total. Wow, that's a good pack. So Robert is at 22. And I'll, I'll re-verify these totals once we're done. Um, just to make sure. All right, Tom. That pack Robert just pulled puts the pressure on you. Let's put these back over here in Robert's stack. All right, here we go. So Tom's got a little pressure. He's four behind currently. He needs a four to tie, a five to take the lead. Let's see what happens. Havoc Demon, Mistress Factory. Honden of Cleansing Fire, and a Shardless Agent for three. It's not going to be enough for Tom to get there. So close. William. William's sitting at six. Uh, let's just hope for a, like a Sylvan Library for William. I don't think there's a, a card big enough to, to catapult him into the lead. So fingers crossed for the library. Honda of Infinite Rage, Flint Hoof Boar, Wonder, and a normal Entomb. Not bad. That's about a $20 rare now. So William actually made out pretty good with his hits. Um, he hit a lot of ones. That's incredible. Uh, six packs. His total converted mana cost is seven. That feels like uh, pretty difficult to do. All right, David, it's your turn. You still have a, you still have a shot at this, man. You really do. You have a shot. Nausea, Counterspell, Swiftwater Cliffs, Shaman of the Pack, Relic again, okay, what, Blood Artist, Uncommon Value, and a Control Magic for four, and a full Swiftwater Cliffs, that's not going to be enough, that's going to put him at 21 as well, so unofficially, Robert is the victor, so Robert wins the VIP pack. I'll go back after the video and re-tally the totals. Um, so this may, if I miscounted somewhere, this may go to somebody else. But for right now, unofficially, it is Roberts. Congrats. Let's see how you do. There's a ton of common and uncommon foils we have to go through. Executioner's Capsule. Crushing Vines. Puzzle Knot, Mistress Factory, Treasure Mage, Welding Jar. Here we go, Cranial Plating, Enlarge, Flame Fiend. Our first foil rare is a Vexion Shusher. Really nice card. Second card is a Hammer of Nazan. First extended art foil or borderless foil will be Council's Judgment. Into a Sword of War and Peace. Very nice hit. Always happy to get a sword. So congratulations, Roberts, on your victory, if it stays official. And if you guys are interested in getting in this kind of stuff, like I said, we run these in my Facebook group nearly every single day. So join up. It's Cracking Packs MTG on Facebook. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, and we will see everybody next time.